Hey, what's up Comp 1 students? Uh, my name is Chad Matthews and uh, I'm gonna be your new uh, Composition 1 instructor. Um, I know a lot of you probably have questions or you're kind of struggling dealing with uh, the passing of Mr. Aaron Brand and uh, I share in your shock and in your struggle uh, Aaron was a good friend of mine. Um, I considered him uh, somebody uh, that I looked up to. He was a great writer. In fact, he, uh, you know, was always very quick to encourage me and to, you know, he worked for the newspaper. So he was always, every time I released a book or made a film or released an album, he was always one of the first people to interview me and to talk about my work in the newspaper so in that way he was a great encourager of me and a great believer in the things that i'm passionate about and in fact about 10 years ago um, when i was still in college and trying to kind of figure out what i wanted to do aaron kind of helped me navigate um college and i wasn't sure what i wanted to do with my master's degree and because of my time with him uh, i ended up studying creative writing and so um, I'm sorry that we're in this space and I hope that you are doing okay. Uh, you know, life is short and it's hard. And um, I think anytime somebody passes away that we care about or that we're close to, we remember that. We remember how short and um, precious life can be. And so... Um, I'm here. If you guys need to talk or you just want to email back and forth, um, you know, you're welcome to reach out uh, and uh, would love to have a conversation with you or just encourage you. And so uh, I've looked over the blackboard. I've looked over the turn it in. And I just want to say that I have the utmost respect for Aaron and his style of teaching and his knowledge uh, of writing. And uh, I think that um, he is a brilliant guy. Um, and so with that being said, um, class is gonna look a little bit different and um, it's gonna look a little bit different because I'm not Aaron. And though I respect Aaron and think he's an incredible teacher, we all have different teaching styles. We all have different ways of going about things and um Aaron was very methodical and uh very in depth and and um I think that's incredible. Um for me I approach writing um in a little bit different way. Um I'm more interested in writing as connection. Uh I know that some of you have me as your speech teacher and if you do you're gonna notice a lot of similarities. Uh speech is not um we don't get to get real deep in speech and I do, we will do that in writing. So, uh, you know, there's a lot more to explore with composition than speech, but I view writing as a form of communication and we communicate as humans for the sake of connecting with other humans. This is why we write. We write to be heard. We write to express what we believe. We write with the hopes of connecting and changing this world somehow. And so the first thing, the most important thing that you have to come to terms with when you write is you have to believe, and I mean believe, that you've got something valuable to say. And all of you do. Every single one of you has got something valuable to say, whether it's about your own personal story, your own personal experiences, or something that you believe deeply in. Um, all of you have different perspectives, different passions, different beliefs, and I want to help you utilize writing and communication uh, to get to, to share those things with the world with the hope of encouraging the world, connecting uh, to other people, and um, just making the world a little bit better place and so yeah this is the college class i'm going to challenge you uh we're gonna we're gonna do some writings that are going to be challenging and i'm going to um expect great things from you but really what i'm interested in is that you dig deep 
and that you view this not just as a class to get a grade in, but as an opportunity to become a better version of yourself and an opportunity to learn how to love people in a deeper way, how to serve them and how to think of them first, how to be kind. We can do all of this with writing. Writing is this beautiful tool we have to communicate to multiple people at once. And so everything you write, you're writing for an audience. You're not writing for Professor Matthews. You're not writing for your other professors. You're writing for an audience. So what do you want to say to people? Even if I assign you something and you think, uh, you know, don't think about it like that. Think about it as this. What do I want to say to people? What do I believe? And how do I support that belief? through the art of writing. And make no mistake about it, writing is absolutely an art, is in a form of expression, all right? So we're gonna be expressing ourselves, we're gonna be talking about things that we believe and that we're passionate about, and um, we're gonna dig really, really deep here. Um, but I do wanna let you know that class is gonna look a lot different, okay? We're not gonna start that until Monday, October 11th, and we'll take some baby steps, but generally um, I like to video lectures like this and they're all personal lectures. I don't video these ahead of time. I video these every week and I give them to you um, that week so you can hear me and you can see me. And, um, and then if you have any questions or anything, I create a discussion board and you can ask questions there about the lecture, then usually I transcribe the lecture written form. And so you'll have that. I do like for you guys to take notes over the lecture. And that's just my way of knowing that you did watch the video and that you actually engaged with it. And I promise I won't be too boring. I, I really like, I, I love writing. I love poetry. I love stories. I believe in the power of writing. And so, um, hopefully you see that. And I love telling personal stories in my lectures. And let me tell you something. And I think this is really important to know when I was in high school, which I believe all of you are, I failed high school English twice, my sophomore year and my junior year, I failed English. So I didn't grow up in a household that valued education. It wasn't until I was 25 that I even went to college. And the reason I went to college is because I was working on the streets and I was a youth pastor and an associate pastor. So I spent two or three years traveling the country, hanging out with homeless men and women on the street, criminals, prostitutes, drug addicts, alcoholics. I spent years, two or three years, just living in a car, going city to city, loving on them. And at some point I began writing down my experiences and um, I loved it. I loved writing down my experiences. And then the more I sat with people in abandoned buildings and graveyards at midnight, Times Square, New York in Miami, Seattle, LA, Skid Row, uh, Portland, Dallas, Houston, Chicago, any big city you can think of in the dead of the night, I would sit with these men and women who were experiencing life on the street and I would just listen to their stories. And um, those stories moved me. And I became really aware then of just how powerful storytelling is, how powerful human connection is when we're just sharing part of ourselves, right? So even though we're not gonna be writing stories in this class, you are sharing part of yourself with an audience. So it was through all of that that um, I realized I loved storytelling and I saw how healing it could be. And I loved writing and I saw how many people I could influence and inspire through writing. I went back to school, uh, studied English, studied creative writing, kept going to school and um, until I had all the degrees you can have, right? And so uh, I say that not to say, look at my accomplishments, but um, none of it came naturally to me when I was younger. And so my expectation is not that you're perfect. Uh, we're growing, right? That's why we're here. We're in college to learn how to grow, to become the best version 
of ourselves, really to become problem solvers, to think critically, right? To be self-aware, to realize when we need to grow. Goodness, that's a, that's a valuable tool to have. So many of us don't even realize we need growth. And so, so everything we do is part of a big journey to become the best communicator we can be. And listen, if you don't try, then you are failing yourself. It doesn't matter what grades you get, right? It doesn't matter if you get an A, B, or C. If you're not giving this all you can, if you're not trying your hardest, then you're letting yourself down because you have an opportunity right now at this point in your life to become a badass version of yourself, all right? And so I want that for you. And uh, I'm here to serve you. I'm here to help you get to where you want to go. I'm here to help you get to where you feel called to go. Um, you know, I consider all of my students my friends. And so I want to always be the one that encourages you. Um, I don't want to discourage you. I want to lift you up. I want to remind you that you are worthy and that you are capable of doing excellent excellent work. All right. So, um, take a deep breath, right? And, um, don't worry. All right. Don't freak out. Uh, nothing's going to change so much that you can't figure it out. And I'm going to walk you through the process. All right. And we're going to probably do away with the modules. All right. And we're going to go to a style that I do where I'll just do week to week but I'll let you know exactly what your expectations are. Um, I'll probably create a folder that says what week it is and what dates we're doing. You open that folder. First thing you'll do is watch this lecture, not this one, but a lecture I post. Usually they're between 20 minutes and 30 minutes. I never much longer than that. You'll take notes on that lecture, usually a page, MLA format, all right? Organize the notes, take a page. So that'll be an assignment you do every week. I do that because it's an easy grade for you. And then I'll have you read a few things um, just to kind of brush up on what we're talking about. And then we'll probably do another assignment, all right? And that'll be some kind of a writing assignment. And so I prefer to do much smaller assignments instead of doing very large assignments. And so I know that you guys are busy uh, and I know that you've got lots going on. And so if you begin to feel overwhelmed, if you begin to feel like you're drowning or you can't take what's going on, reach out to me and let me know, okay? Uh, I want all of you to be healthy mentally. I want you to be healthy emotionally. I don't want you to be under duress or stress. I want you to grow in this class as a writer, as a communicator, but most importantly, as a human, as somebody who loves people and hopes to connect with them through their writing and communicating. It's really difficult to grow if you're just feeling really overwhelmed and stressed all the time. Now, there are times when we need to be challenged to grow, but challenges don't necessarily have to stress us out, right? And so we're gonna navigate this together. Um, I'm praying for each one of you, praying for everybody in the class. Uh, I hope that you're doing okay. Um, you know, uh, I'm sorry about the news that you guys have um, heard this week. And I know all of you are feeling and dealing with it in your own way, even though you didn't necessarily know um, Mr. Brand, we did kind of know him, right? And so, um, you know, please reach out if you need anything. And um, I'm here to help you. I'm here to to come alongside you and to support you in this journey. All right. So um, I appreciate you guys. Can't wait to uh, get to know each one of you if I don't know you already. Um, and I'm excited to be on this journey with you. And we're going to do a great job. We're going to do this thing together. And uh, everything is going to be just fine. All right. So if you need to email me, um, I'm sending out an announcement. So you might need to look in your other folder. It'll go straight to your email, but it might go to the other folder. I'm going to put my name in there. I'm going to put my email and I'm going to put my phone number. If you need me and I'm not responding, you're welcome to text me. Um, usually I'll respond faster on the email though. All right. So I appreciate each one of you. Looking forward to meeting you and um, let's do this. All right.